How do we round numbers by tens or one hundreds? Let's take a look at putting 152 into a place value chart. 152 is made up of 100, 5 tens, and 2 ones. This is a skill that will be important for rounding. Let's take a look at some important words for this lesson. To round is to change a number to a more convenient value. The next word is benchmarks. Benchmarks are reference points used for comparison. For example, let's say we were looking at the number 17. Two possible benchmarks would be the numbers 10 and 20. Midpoint is the next word. A midpoint is a point in the middle of a line segment. For example, let's look at those same benchmarks of 10 and 20. The midpoint of that line segment would be 15. So how do you round a number to the nearest 10? Let's look at the number 62. First you would set your benchmarks. Since we're rounding to the nearest 10, we would look at 60 and 70. Next you would determine the midpoint of your benchmarks. The midpoint of 60 and 70 is 65. The next step would be to plot your number on the vertical number line. 62 would be between 60 and 65, but a little bit closer to 60. Now it's time to round. Again, we were wondering if 62 is closest to 60 or 70. It's clear to see on this vertical number line that 62 rounded to the nearest 10 is 60. Let's check out another example. Let's try to round 65 to the nearest 10. Since it's to the nearest 10, our benchmarks would be 60 and 70. The next step would be to determine your midpoint. The midpoint between 60 and 70 would be the halfway point, which is 65. The next step would be to plot your number on the vertical number line. 65 is unique in this case because it falls directly on the midpoint. That makes this situation unique. If a point falls on the midpoint, or greater than the midpoint, you would round up to the next nearest 10. Therefore. 65 rounded to the nearest 10 is 70. How do we round a number to the nearest 100? Let's look at 186. 186 falls between 100 and 200. The midpoint or halfway point between 100 and 200 is 150. Next we would plot 186 on our vertical number line. When we plot our number, we can tell that it's between 150 and 200, but closer to 200. Since 186 is at or above the midpoint on our vertical number line, we would round up to 200. So, 186 rounded to the nearest 100 is 200. Round 247 to the nearest 10. 247 falls between 240 and 250. The midpoint between those two numbers is 245. Next we would plot 247 on the number line and we can see that it is closer to 250. Thanks so much for listening. Please try some more on your own by going to the web address below.